Okay, we're delighted to welcome Maida Vaughan to Totally Wired. You're not only the first band we've had since lockdown to do a session, but you're also the first person in here, which is really nice. Yeah, it's how'd, you, how'd you find it? Yeah, it was fabulous. Thank you for having me, guys. Yeah, what did you play? Um, sure. We played Peaches and Scream, which is a new one, not out yet, and War Child, which is an old one, and it is out. And it, it was so nice to, I know there was only four of us in the crowd, but it was, it was how was it to play yeah, live it was music lovely. again? It was a treat. Yeah, it was a real treat. It's been a long seven time. Seven months, maybe. Yeah, seven, maybe more. Seven months. We've done, we've done two rehearsals, haven't we? We've been back for two rehearsals, <laughs> but having an audience has been lovely. It has. So thank you. You've kind of been, you've been quite active anyway. I think it, it fell quite nicely in place, didn't it? Lockdown. You release an EP and a single. Yeah, I guess it was. Um, Almost, yeah, we did that a bit strategically, didn't we? I guess it, knowing, it started out like that, maybe. Yeah, knowing that the internet think... was listening, but you know, no one else really was. So I just thought it's probably a good time to do some releases, hope, hopefully get some radio plays, and we did. Um, so yeah, it was great. It's a good time. Have you found the reaction to Face Like Thunder? Yeah, good. Um, yeah, it's been lovely. I've had loads of brilliant support um, and. Yeah, it's just, it, it's the, the reactions that I've had have, have been really varied and um, people have managed to support my influences, which is always great. And yeah, it's just been lovely. It's been really good. There are a lot of influences there as well, yeah, aren't there? It's bit. like very alternative pop, yeah. but also kind of you straddle that like mainstream pop and alternative pop. There's lots Thank of, you. for every sort of Kate Bush and Grimes. There's like a, a bit of yeah, and Katy Perry. Yes. Well, that Adam Adam said Katy Perry, and I can't I can't unhear it. I know. Right. Okay. Amazing. Because I heard you played Mannequin Me, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, hello, guys. <laughs> um, We've only been here for about an hour and a half. No, but I was searching for you two on Instagram after hearing you on the show. Yeah. Um, and now I've met you in the flesh. Exactly. Thank and you for it's your so fabulous lovely. review. And I like the Katy Perry comparison. Well, who doesn't love Katy Perry? I mean. Exactly. Who doesn't? I'm down for it all day. Thank you. <laughs> and the EP was produced by uh, Matt Johnson from Jamiroquai. Jamiroquai, yes. How did that happen? Um, I met him at BIM. He was doing a masterclass, wasn't mm. he? And um, I was playing with my old band, Gecko Yubari. And um, he, yeah, he heard, he heard us and sort of asked for my details, asked, asked if we could work together. Um, he wanted to creatively develop me as an artist. Um, and we've been working together ever since in his home studio. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. Is, that, is that the way you phrased it? That sounds quite intimidating. <laughs> I want to creatively develop you. <laughs> no, he said, you've got a real... I think his words were, I love your vibe. You've got some... You've got a good zhuzh or something like that. Um, can I have your details? Um, and he messaged me on Instagram. Sort of. I do think the words creatively develop were in there. Um, and... Yeah, and then it all got rolling. It did? Yeah, and I just stepped on the train one day and I've been working with him ever since and it's fab, he's great. He's and a really how does that how does that collaboration work? Do you take what do you take to him and then or is it all in the studio? I usually take no, I, I usually write as many songs as I can beforehand and filter down a couple for the days that we have together that week and then I end up writing a new song on the train. And doing that instead. You should, just, you should just ride trains all the time. <laughs> I think it's more just like an um, adrenaline thing and a never being totally happy with it mm. until like you're the last minute, if that makes sense. Yeah. I like the sort of anticipation of, oh God, can I, can I get something a bit better in? So I'll just write a phrase and then extend from there. And then I'm like, oh, this whole thing might even be better than... Yeah. The so I think, I think the lyrically there's some really clever sort of wordplay and references Thank that you use like A Mannequin Me and you just played Peaches and Scream Yes. and I like the Adamant reference as well. Thank you! That's great. Thank you because I don't think a lot of people notice it and there's actually two references next to each other. Yeah, yes. Sort of stand and Deliver. Stand and, and Deliver and Prince Charming. Prince Charming, yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. But where, where does that come from? Is that, do you... I don't know. I just really love the idea of... Um, Doing things where people go, ah, mm. okay. Because I think Kate Bush is really good at that. That's yeah, that's maybe. Kind of a... I love I love the theatre of music, mm. definitely, and I like satire. I like like automatic is meant to be satirical. It's meant to be funny. Um, tongue in cheek. Yeah, it's totally tongue in cheek, and that's 
and that's what I hope comes across in every single one of my songs. There should be a little, little splash, little bit of fairy dust, of yeah. that sort of thing. Um, what have you? I know it's a weird time, but yeah. you did played that new song. Yeah. W- what's the plans for that, and what's the plan for the I've, near distant future? I don't have a plan. That's the plan. Um, right, ride more trains. That's yeah, I'm just, yeah, I'm, clearly. I'm just gonna be on the trains. Um, no, I don't have a plan. Um, we've got a gig on the on Halloween because we, we were supposed to be playing on the fourth of October, and obviously it's been moved. So we're now we've been put in a. It, it was a small small venue, so now we're in a 300 capacity venue where we can socially distance on Halloween. So that'll be fun. Um, but I've got loads in the bank, to be honest. But more than anything I look at everything that's in the bank and I think oh yeah but I would love to start fresh again and do yeah. a whole new EP because you've, you've worked in lots of projects as well haven't you yeah, you I've mentioned done. that one before and you were in Pollen as I well I was in Pollen Pollen was good fun yeah um, um, yeah is it just a rest, restless energy you have well you, it's Maid of Vaughan to, to stay <laughs> yeah no Maid of Vaughan is definitely to stay who knows what sort of like transitions she will go through um, I think but, you grab inspiration from everywhere but want to do a bit of everything as well definitely so but i also re- have realized lately as you know that i've gone ah oh, maybe i need to channel into molly as well a little bit more and not just be like oh that's good i want a bit of that mm. um a bit of authenticity yeah just be like okay i'm i'm pretty all right as a musician and look just do a bit of looking in the mirror and sort of see what what's in there naturally rather than looking in other places and has, has lockdown helped with that as well or is it kind yeah, of hindered that definitely a lot so of time to think isn't it lots of time to think lots of time to be like okay it's really fun to experiment with different sounds and different songs but what do am i a pop singer am i a ballad singer am i like i love the spoken word quick sort of syncopated sort of thing so it's honing it in working out how to hone it in well that's great yeah. thank thanks for everything that, that session was great and yeah, good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. It's been lovely to meet you. Cheers. Cheers.